Who is a worthy adversary? Somebody that you respect, but you totally disagree with out in the world right now. Well, and it would be Secretary of Agriculture Tom Vilsack, in <laughs> part. And there's a paradox here because just moments ago, I praised him for shepherding this new rule that will help restore competition to the marketplace. On the other hand, uh, we intend to file a lawsuit against him very soon because he has issued a mandate that will it, that will require cattle producers who want to ship adult cattle across state lines to affix those cattle with an RFID, a radio frequency identification ear tag. And in order to purchase those RFID ear tags, they have to register their premises. And so we view this to be an infringement and an invasion of their privacy. And we believe this to be overreach on the part of Secretary of Agriculture, Tom Vilsack. And uh, so we have been unsuccessful in trying to convince him uh, to back off of these rules during the uh, public notice and comment period. And so we are now left with uh, our very few options. We're working in Congress trying to overturn his rule. Uh, but if that fails, uh, ultimately we're going to the third branch of government again, and we will use a judicial system to allege that Secretary Vilsack has issued a rule that he had no constitutional authority to issue, and that he's issued a rule that is not in compliance with the with his own uh, rules and regulations under the Administrative Procedure Act. So he's a worthy adversary, um, but uh, we disagree with him on many issues. But the, the one that we certainly agree with him on is uh, his work under under the Packers and Stockyards Act rulemaking process. Yeah, it would seem to me that a lot of the power of the USDA uh, should have been sucked out by the Chevron deference case where they were saying you're no longer allowed to just come in as a bureaucracy and make laws. Um, did that have any bearing on, on the RFID case at all? Well, we're going to find out because the lawsuit that we file will certainly um, cite that case uh, in support of the arguments that we make. And one of the interesting things about that RFID is that, uh, from what I hear, the, the people that are defending it, they're saying, look, it's it's only if you're moving your cattle across state lines. If you're just keeping your cattle in your own state, no big deal. What's wrong with that argument? Well, nothing is wrong with that argument, but for the fact that the U.S. Department of Agriculture has publicly announced that they intend to require a mandatory tracking system from, for animals from birth to slaughter. This is merely phase one. In fact, the rule that has been issued will not accomplish the disease traceability improvements that USDA is asking for. And the reason for that is the only thing the rule does is impose an imposition on the part of cattle producers to purchase and affix the most expensive form of animal identification onto each of their animals that they do ship across state lines. And, but they do not require that electronic information to be read or transferred by anybody in the supply chain. So what, what is essentially happening is this is uh, how you boil a frog. This is an incrementalism where the government starts small and will soon grow larger and larger. We've seen this before, and they've already told us what their plans are. So if we do not stop this now, we will have a tremendously hard time stopping it if we wait until the secondary, second rule comes along to actually uh, implement the first and to expand the scope. And the, the first expansion is going to be to require every feeder of cattle, every every light calf uh, that's sold in the United States will most likely have to be have to bear uh, these expensive RFID ear tags. And incidentally, we believe all of these chips are made in China, and that's that's problematic for us as well. Well, I want to thank you for uh, connecting the dots on that. That's been a big issue um, among my listeners. So I'm glad you talked about that. For a complete list of worthy adversaries, you can find that on X. I'll also include it in the show notes.